It's my pleasure to be joined by Jason Mott, the former Cardinals closer. And Jason, there are people who love Memphis, come here, just absolutely love it. And then there's people who have a life-changing experience. You found your wife here, you found a new hometown, you got your career underway. I mean, how much does this city mean to you? Uh, you know, I, I, I love it. You know, th this is this is home. Uh, you know, I've, I've, I've moved around a lot uh, when I was growing up. I went to, you know, everywhere from Michigan, Colorado, Louisiana, Florida, New York, and just about everywhere in between. Uh, but like I said, this is this is home. And so when everyone asks me, like, oh, where are you from? I'm like, I'm, I'm from Memphis. Uh, you know, like I said, and you said it very well. You know, I met my wife here. It's where she's from. And this is this is home. So this is this will always be home. Now. When you started with the Redbirds, I mean, more often than not, this is just a stepping stone along mm -hmm. the way. Did you think that this was going to be home at the time when you were living here? Uh, you know, when I first started here in 08, uh, no. Uh, you know, my, my family lives over in East Tennessee. Uh, and then, you know, I ended up meeting my wife here. Um, you know, so it was one of those things. She was from here the first off season uh, after 2008, uh, 2008, 2009. We, we came back here and it's been home. It's been it's been home ever since. So, you know, for us, it was, uh, you know, it wasn't even really, really a question. Uh, you know, this is somewhere that we we kind of wanted to uh, wanted to be, wanted to start a family. And, uh, you know, we we love it here. We're talking right now on the University of Memphis campus. Can you tell me a little bit about how you decided to, to get involved with the Tigers? You're now on staff here. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, you know, uh, this was always, you know, like I said before, you know, this was always my off-season home. Uh, Memphis was, and I, I started coming up here, working out, uh, throwing, doing stuff up at University of Memphis, shoot, years ago, probably 2010, 2011. Uh, you know, so being able to come up here, rock, and all the coaches were always so so nice, allowing me to come up here, do my off-season workouts up here, throw. Um, so, you know, when I got done last year, I was talking to Rock a little bit and he's like, hey, you know, we're thinking we got a little idea, maybe, maybe, you know, have you around a little bit more of this and that since you're done now. I was like, yeah, let me know. Uh, so like I said, I'd be, I'd be happy to help out, especially as much as, like I said, they've given to me, allowing me to come in and, uh, like I said, work and do my stuff when I played here. So, you know, being able to come back here and give back to a program that has allowed me to do what I needed to do to be on the field was, uh, really a no brainer for me. This isn't your only venture. You're also very involved, obviously, with Strikeout Cancer, the Jason Mott Foundation. Um, how has Memphis helped you in, in making this kind of a home base for, for your organization? It's blown up all over baseball. Uh, so this is, this is kind of where everything started. Uh, my wife's grandfather was diagnosed a couple months before our wedding back in 2010, uh, and he got all his treatment and everything at the West Institute uh, here in Memphis. So, you know, for us, it was you know, a question of how can we help? How can we help people the way that people helped my wife's grandfather and her family during this tough time? And it was right here in, in, in the city of Memphis. So, uh, you know, for us, it was it was a no brainer. You know, we first started doing our events here. Uh, we have our big event coming up in uh, in St. Louis, May 20th. Uh, we, we do a big cornhole event. We do, we're doing an event here November 9th, uh, a uh, cornhole event, like I said, with our, with our K cancer shirts and uh, all that stuff. It's been league wide for the past six years, but, uh, you know, like I said, it's it's uh, it's it's home. So you know, it's it's a place that we wanna we wanna help give back to and help those who are who are going through that fight right now. And uh, like I said, let them know that they're not doing it alone and that people do care. Now, Memphis is traditionally a basketball first city, mm -hmm. but how often do people come up talk to you about that final out of the World Series? You know, being able to walk off as a World Champion with the Cards. Uh, you know, it's it, it it happens a good amount of time. But that that's one of the things I uh, I, I liked and always you know really loved about Memphis is. Like I said, there are Cardinal fans and stuff all all around Memphis, uh, uh, but it wasn't as as I don't want to say as crazy as St. Louis. Uh, you know, you know, like in St. Louis, you really couldn't go anywhere. You you know, without you know people all over the place kind of kind of recognize me. I guess I probably could shave the beard off. That 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 <laughs> might help. But uh, you know, uh, you well know, then how would we fear the beard? Exactly. <laughs> you know. So uh, you know, for me, uh, you know, b being here, I always always enjoyed it because there were a, a good amount of Cardinal fans. Um, and like I said, I, I get it a good amount, but not not anything crazy, uh, which is which is good, uh, you know, because you can kind of I'm just really just kind of like a normal person. Uh, I just, you know, I guess happened to throw last out of the World Series, which was uh, which was which was a pretty good day at the office. But, uh, you know, it, it's, it's definitely, like I said, a good spot. And I, I, I love I love being here. Yeah, pretty casual. I just threw out the last out of the World <laughs> exactly. Series. Uh, well, are there any spots or any place in Memphis that, that are your go to's, whether it's restaurant or anything like that? Uh, shoot, man. Uh, you know, barbecue, uh, you know, is always really good here. We, me and my wife always end up somehow at commissary or, you know, one and only somewhere like that. And then, uh, you know, a couple of our buddies have, have some restaurants, uh, you know, Michael Hudman, Andy Tyser. Uh, so they have like Catherine and Mary's. We go there, Great Canary downtown. 
uh, Hog and Hominy, and then Andrew Michaels Italian Kitchen are kind of like are kind of like staples. I think everyone at Hog and Hominy pretty much knows us by name and knows exactly what we're going to get when we walk in. So you know, th those are some places that we we, we, we frequent pretty pretty often. Uh, like I said, yeah, they're they're pretty good friends of ours, but they they do a pretty darn good job of making some good food. So why Memphis? You know, you uh, you know why Memphis for me is. Uh, you know, like I said, uh, it's it's home. You know, this this is where my wife's family's from, and uh, like I said, I, I love I I just love the people here. Honestly, you know you know what I mean. There's there's good people from all walks of life, uh, and you know everything from you know places where I go go eat to work out to where you know my kids go to school. Uh, you know, there's just there's just quality people here, uh, and like I said, all different skill sets and jobs and doing all different things but uh like i said there's there's just some really really good people here uh down to earth people and like i said we we love it here perfect jason thank, thank you thank you very much appreciate it